like little leaves and stuff like that. It's very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to check the temperature here. And this is at 86, which isn't too bad. And this is at 118, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pour the lye into the oils. So I'm going to start the emulsification process. And that's where you make, you're mixing the lye and the oil together. So see how it's turning a little bit of a, a creamy color? So I just want to get this emulsified so it's the oil and the light is together. I'm going to use these. These are from Brambleberry. And so I'm going to go a little bit faster because now it's starting to turn into solid soap here. Okay, so oil there. And these have all been sprayed down with um, canola oil, just like a cooking oil. Now when I do this, I don't want to put a lot in here. I think I'm going to need some more molds. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit of green. And the key is to this is not to fill it up too much. Oops. So I just barely want to get the color in there because if I fill it up too much, it won't fit into those little sleeves. So, I just want to stir this so it's a little bit easier to pour. It's a little white. Okay, 
too. Put our purple right in there. It splashed right up. That's why you want to wear goggles. So I just want to get this in all of, all of it. I want to put a little bit of white there. I might make a bar for him. Would that be a nice surprise, huh? Okay. That over right there. See, this is something my customer wouldn't expect, but it's a nice way to show that, you know, you appreciate his business or their business, because there's two of them. set I will spray that so before it turns into soap right in my pot I just want to show you what I'm going to do for him it's a surprise okay so we'll pour some of this it's going to have a lot of green and should we stir this up put that right in there These, maybe these are some nice little bars that he could sell at his, his inn. Or, if not, I can just sell them on my website. So you're always thinking about the customer. You know, what would they like? How can you help them grow their business? Because you take care of them, they'll take care of you by giving you more business. So that's what you want to try to do, is have really good customer service. So, let's pour the purple in. Love that purple, it came out really nice. Very pretty. Oh, this smells so good. It's a nice, light scent, and it's made for, uh, it's a scent, it's great for men or women. But the name of it is uh, Intuition, and it's I get it from Wholesale Supply Company. So hopefully I don't run into any issues with the name of it, but that's what it's called. And I'll do the hanger swirl on this. And we're going to do a hanger swirl. Do it one more time. Because this has soap on it, so it's still dangerous. It's not good for your skin right now. So, I get this in there. And I'm going to do a couple. This is really nice and fluid. So I'll do a couple little swirls. And there you go. And then I'll wait for the top to get a little bit more hard and then a little bit more thicker and then I'm going to add some stuff to it. And I do have to spray these, which I will do. It doesn't, 
Since I'm in such a cold climate, Vermont, uh, even though I spray the top of it with my rubbing alcohol, it still gets that soda ash, which is just a, um, a natural reaction as the soap cools, it forms an ash on top, so it's cooling and it has the, so it has the hot and then has the air that's cold and it just creates that little chemical reaction, but it's not harming at all to the, the skin, it's just something that it's just like a white powdery effect that's on top of the soap. So I'm going to spray that real quick and then I will, I'm just waiting for this to sort of harden up a little bit. See it's still very, so I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit harder. So I'll spray that and then I'll cover all these and I'll show you how I cover them. I have extra ones and what I do is I just put it right on top um, and so this is clean cardboard that I use to leave in recycling really close to this. That's probably a no-no. Because this stuff can burn your skin. You really got to wash it with soap and water. <laughs> you're making soap and you're washing it with soap and water. But that's how it is. And you want to make sure that you do have like poison control ready if you have to uh, go to the hospital or something like that. Because Working with lye is very dangerous and you just have to have a lot of safety precautions. You have to make sure that you are well rested. Uh, there's no other issues going on because uh, you don't want to be distracted when you're making this because it is chemistry. Okay, this is done. Alright, let's get that all together. These are all my dishes I get to clean up. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of dishes. <laughs> so put a, I need spoon in my stick. I do need a spoon. So I'll make some little. So I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit as I go. like the other ones with the lavender linen. Uh, this is something I'm just had extra and I just thought, you know, maybe he might want a bar because I know he loves the scent. No. No, I gotta wait. Okay. I just want to say thank you for joining me today and I will talk to you later. Have a great day.